Recently, I noticed that new hire are aware of the term sexual harassment. But when I questioned them, they were confused and just looking at my face. Sexual harassment is any unwanted sexual behavior that makes someone feel upset, scared, offended, or humiliated, or is meant to make them feel that way. This unwanted sexual conduct can happen in person, on the phone, by text or email, or online. Both the harasser and the victim or survivor can be of any gender. Sexual harassment includes a wide range of behaviors such as sexual comments or noises, sexual gestures, inappropriate staring or suggestive looks. This can include looking someone up and down, sexual jokes, sexual comments, unwanted sexual advances or flirting, sexual requests or asking for sexual favors, sending emails or texts with sexual content and pictures, sexual posts or conduct or contact on social media, asking questions about person's private or sex life, someone discussing their own sex life, commenting on someone's, uh, someone displaying images of a sexual nature, unwanted physical contact of a sexual nature, for example, brushing up against someone or hugging, kissing or massaging them stalking, uh, indecent exposure, taking a photo or video under another person's clothing, what is uh, also known as upskirting, showing or sending unwanted sexual pictures, cartoons or other sexual images, demanding hugs, dates or sexual favors, asking questions or talking about someone's sexuality, sex life or body, making unnecessary physical contact including unwanted touching, using language that puts someone down on the base of their gender, spreading sexual rumors, threatening to fire or punish someone if they don't accept sexual advances, uh, stalking behavior that makes someone feel unsafe, including unwanted visits, phone calls, text, emails or letters, leaving gifts or watching someone's home or school. If someone is sexually harassed, remember it's not their fault. They are not responsible for the harasser's behavior. No matter what, it's normal to see physical and emotional side effects from the experience, including anxiety, depression, fatigue, and insomnia, as well as relationship or self-esteem problems. Sexual harassment is a type of sexual violence, sexual activity or act that happens without consent. Other types of sexual violence includes rape and sexual assault. Rape is often described as unwanted, forced or non-consensual sex. But sex and rape are two very different things. If there is no consent, then it's not sex, it's rape, no matter the circumstances. Sexual assault happens when someone either touches another person in a sexual manner without consent or other person 
touching them in a sexual manner without consent. It includes unwanted kissing and the touching of someone's body parts. Victims and survivors of sexual harassment are often told they are being unreasonable or too sensitive or they can't handle or take a joke. But sexual harassment is never funny and should not be happening. It can often make victims and survivors feel upset, scared, humiliated or unsafe. For some, it can have a serious impact on their physical and mental health and affect their quality of life. You might have heard people talking about sexual harassment happening at work, but it can happen anywhere and takes many forms. So a person is considered as sexually harassing another another person if they engage in an unwanted conduct of sexual nature and the conduct has the purpose or effect of either violating the other person's dignity or creating an intimidation, hostile, degrading, humiliating or offensive environment for them. Sexual harassment is a form of unlawful discrimination. This means that people are legally protected from sexual harassment in certain places, for example, work, on public transport, and schools, colleges, universities. So if sexual harassment does happen in these places, victim and survivor have the right to take action to find a solution. This could include making a complaint or making a claim in the civil courts. Some form of sexual harassment automatically break criminal law and are therefore crimes. These include stalking, indecent exposure, upskirting. Any sexual harassment involves physical contact and uh, other forms of sexual harassment might also break criminal law depending on the situation for example if uh, someone carries out sexual harassment behaviors on more than one occasion that are intent to cause another person alarm or distress they might be committing the crime of harassment. In cases of sexual harassment where a crime was committed, police can arrest the person who committed the crime. This person can be charged with a crime and face trial. If they are found guilty or pled guilty, then they will receive a punishment. This might include a person it can include uh, the person a prison sentence. I expect my officers to be professional while performing their duties. So if you encounter such complaints while at work, now you know or got a better idea how to handle sexual harassment complaints. So don't forget always involve local law enforcement and stay safe while at work. Thank you.